Forney and the a brief history of the how the city of Forney was founded. Um, we actually trace our heritage back to the 1860s and uh, we became a, a growth area of trade recognized just 21 miles from Dallas and we were basically the only community of trade east of Dallas and west of Kaufman at that time. In the recent years we found ourselves in a growth model here in Forney and we uh, Presently, we have about 18,000 people within the city limits, but within our RS1 growth zone, we're, we're at 49,000 people, with a projection for 2022 to be at 70,000 people. So we're really in a great position to move forward in uh, attracting the economic growth that we'd like to have through retail and commercial development, along with the residential growth that matches our, our mission statement. We know that, that rapid growth is coming to our school district and we've been um, making plans to address that. We've been working with our demographers to, to monitor the growth and we went out into our community and put a design team together, talked about all the different approaches that we uh, had available to us and we are about to convert two of our elementary campuses into five, six campuses. Our vision statement in Forney ISD is to inspire our students through innovative education. So we're constantly asking ourselves, how do you do that? And we're constantly working on um, coming up with inspiring and innovative ways to educate our students. We know that kids need more than just reading, writing, and arithmetic. <laughs> that now our kids need to learn to collaborate, they need to learn to uh, think critically, they need to uh, explore their creativity and uh, they need to be great communicators. So all of those things we are designing and building into our curriculum. Forney's experienced some, some great growth and we've transferred a lot of that growth in trying to stay with our heritage in the revitalization of our downtown area. And we're really happy about attracting unique restaurants and culture to our downtown. Nobelli's is a Cajun Creole restaurant. Uh, we do fried catfish, fried shrimp, fried chicken, uh, grill, all three uh, meats, uh, different uh, Louisiana style dishes. Um, coming to Forney about 11 years ago, uh, we always thought this would be a nice area to, uh, to live in, raise a family. We, uh, we built a house here. Uh, we knew the city was growing pretty uh, rapidly. And like I said, there wasn't any seafood restaurant around the area, so we say well, this would be a perfect place to introduce uh, this area to some Louisiana-style uh, food. Two months into opening uh, the restaurant, I walked away from a full salary-paying uh, job as an architect to run my own business here and pursue the dreams of being an entrepreneur. The City of Forney Economic Development uh, Committee helped us with a, a facade grant when they noticed we were doing reno renovations to the building which was an old signing building that we renovated uh, to this location. The community is uh, real supportive of new businesses coming in. Uh, the city itself uh, has great ideas on, on what's coming ahead. It's a good outlook on 10 years down the road. You probably won't recognize the, what's, what Forney was 10 years from now. So the city has been good, the community has been good, and it's growing and I, I would advise anybody to take a look in the movement of the Fournier area that's looking to move in or out of the city of Dallas. We look forward to, to bringing in industry and the jobs market here to Fournier and we're staged for that. Smurfit Kappa is the second largest global packaging corporation with operations in 34 countries around the world, 45,000 employees and almost $10 billion in sales last year. Our primary business here in Forney is making brown paper out of old corrugated containers. We produce about a thousand tons a day on two paper machines. We're shipping nearly all of that paper to our corrugating operations here in Texas, in Phoenix, in California, and in northern Mexico. The infrastructure here in Forney is really good. We have excellent transportation coming right through the city. We've got plentiful power, water, sewer, and other infrastructure. Uh, Smurfit Kappa's operations here consume more than 15 megawatts of electricity that's provided through the grid, but also some generation on site. Our facilities here are well supported by ground transportation through Highway 80, connecting to the interstate highway system in just a couple of miles. 
Um, we're also served by Union Pacific's railway that comes right through town and goes right by our plant. In 2013 through 2015, Smurfit Kappa invested about $15 million to expand production at our paper mill here. Um, that resulted in increased water and sewer use. And we worked with the city to um, determine a new long-term supply agreement for both water and sewer city services that uh, ensured uninterrupted supply at a very competitive cost. We have an excellent collaborative relationship with the leaders of the city of Forney. Uh, when there's something that they need help with, we work very hard to see what we can do to help the community. And when there's something we need help with, city leaders are very responsive and help us out. So the growth that we want to see is quality growth. Any city can grow. The, the key is to make sure that that growth meets that model of family values with a safe environment, with a good growth, and keep everyone coming. Like I said, we want to invite our neighbors to come grow with us and make this their, their history and legacy.